this is game number 31 effectively game number two in this second part of the tournament it's going to come from abu dhabi and uh, it should be a fascinating contest nice enjoy because we talk so much about Kohli. Let's start the discussion with Team Bangalore because uh, they were really the front runners when this tournament started. Many felt that uh, because of the interruption, that momentum, I know it's that M word that we don't tend to want to use too often, but it's certainly, you cannot escape the fact <laughs> that it would have been arrested. Uh, I think it would have, but uh, you know, as Harsha was alluding to in our preview show as well, that this, their, their, Replacements have actually helped them, you know, whether it's Hasaranga, whether it's Tim David, and you know, they will, Washington Sundar not being there will hurt, but it may just give somebody else a chance to really, you know, make it good. And they have that kind of depth in their side, you know, they have Shahbaz Ahmed in their side, they have all rounders in their side. And I think given the new players they have, they're in a better position to exploit the conditions, as in in the beginning, if there's a bit of pace required, you have the kind of fast bowlers who can use it early. And then towards the end, that if you don't, if you know that the ball is coming off, you've added a couple of Sri Lankan spinners who can really do well with you. I like this side. I really like this side. I fancy their chances. It's a Fair cleverly point. picked side. It's a cleverly picked side. Tim David. It's, it's an excellent story. Tim David is rejected by Western Australia and goes back to the country of his birth, which is Singapore, and then goes round the world playing franchise cricket. And today, I'm sure Australia are eyeing there and saying, you know what, we've given Mitch Marsh a hundred chances. We wouldn't mind calling this guy back. So, that, that's a good choice. I think Hasaranga and Chamira played a lot of cricket there. Those are good choices for a long time. In India, we didn't look at players from Sri Lanka for some reason. You, you'd have Isuru Dana sometimes, Tisara Pereira sometimes. But these two are really good players. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you one more player whom we talked about every single day on the last series, which is uh, Chamika Karunaratne. If he can bowl a little bit more. He'll, he'll be a valuable player from Sri Lanka to come in as well. So, these are good choices. George Garton. George Garton with that peculiar action, bowls 140 plus. Just the other day in the final of the blast, came in and hit 43 of 21 balls. So, very good choice there. Should something happen to Jameson, George Garton ready to slip in? Maybe play both. Maybe play both. Who knows? AB, Maxwell, Jameson. You can either play Hasaranga or Christian or Garton. You've got so many choices there. The only thing is what I would like to see is if Virat is going to bat 3 for India, would he be better off batting 3 here? Or is he going to go and open for uh, for India? Because that is one area they need a batsman uh, at 3. You know, or if Virat bats 3, who opens with uh, Padikal? Yeah, the question remains, how will he look at it as outgoing captain of the franchise? All sorts of dynamics will change. But I think one big question he'll have to answer, and I think Tim David will be an impact player. He took his franchise to the final. He was one of the players responsible for taking the St. Lucia franchise to the final of uh, of mm. the CPL. But uh, Joy, Yuzvendra Chehel, big talking point of that uh, team selection was Chehel missing. Now comes a time when he steps up. First step, he needs to tell Kohli that I'm going to be in the 11 ahead of Hasaranga, Joy. I'm sure he will. Again, he gives he gives them so many opportunities, and and I see a point late in the tournament where they're bowling in tandem. Definitely, you know, coming. I was going to ask you that as a follow-up. Can they both play in the mm -hmm. same eleven? I see towards you know definitely you know as October comes and October rolls on, I definitely see that happening. But see, I love players have what we, what we call PTP point to proof, and JL has the biggest point to proof possible. Just watch this. I mean. I, I will be very interested in seeing how he goes. And I can tell you one thing. He is watching every ball that Rahul Chahir bowls out here. And he's looking at every analysis. He knows those numbers by heart. He was a chess player in his youth. International level chess player. He is going to go very hard at this. And, and that's fantastic. I think it's great for Indian cricket. I don't even mind the fact that you know Rahul was picked over him. It was over form. It was a call. It was a tough call to make. Somebody made that call. But these are the kind of things that make Indian cricket very strong today. Just the same way as we were talking about the particles and the pretty shores and the Shikhar Dhawan sitting out and wondering what do they need to do to play for India in the batting. So I think this is Every what makes game, our cricket yeah. strong. Every game has one player like that who wants to show. Listen, I think you overlooked me. Today, three overs, two for nine in the opening burst. Deepak Chahar has just said, Dekho ji, main na, yehi hu. <laughs> na yehi hu. 
three, I mean, not three overs, two for nine every day, but giving you three overs in the power play, that is that is so uh, so uh, critical. Same thing with Chahal. Same thing when Delhi play watch Shikhar. These are people who want to send a message. So they'll be, as Joy said, a little more interesting to watch. Well, now that Joy has set, uh, set this trend for us, watch this space. Uh, I- I'm taking a call right now. Tomorrow on the show, we will pick a PTP 11. Point to prove 11 for this tournament. What a good idea. And Hang on, that's a really good idea. What and, and you know, that could effectively be the team that India could play against and would give them a really good, uh, really good fight. Really good fight. Pritri Shaw Shikhar down opening that opening that game. Absolutely. Yep. If, if all of you have suggestions yeah. to add to it, hashtag Krigbuzz Live. Send in your PTP 11. Uh, we will get in ours at this time tomorrow. But since we're talking about the game that's coming up, it's Kolkata against Bangalore. Let's talk about uh, the men in purple joy. Um, there'll be so much focus on Bangalore. They'll sort of want to slip under the radar and pick up those two points while everyone's talking about Kohli and Jehel and so many other aspects. Yeah, the way I've seen Brendan McCullum over the years, he's going to turn around and say, guys, you have nothing to lose. So now, actually play with freedom. And Harsha alluded again on the preview show about the fact that these players, these young players, though they've been given the freedom, they've been given the chance, whether it's Rahul Tripathi or Nitish Shana or Shopan Gil, they have playing as if they have invisible straight jackets. Something's holding them back. And I think all our friend Brendan is going to try and do is unlock those. He said, I don't care. We can be zero for three. Because this season, if you don't do something extraordinary, it's a write-off already. We're two and five. So look, unless we do something extraordinary, we'll be two and nine. It doesn't matter. Going out two and nine and you know, losing the season, but giving yourself a chance to become, you know, seven and seven is a very different proposition altogether. So I love the way the season is set up for them. It's actually set up for Brendan to free their minds. And if they do and they get some performances out of these young kids, maybe things will change. Yeah, I mean Brendan could well making it, Hasha. I was just looking at the overseas players. You will definitely play Andre Russell. You will definitely play Owen Morgan. Now, are you going to play Sunil Narayan? But if you don't play Sunil Narayan, big boundaries, do you want to play Shakib? So, who does Seifert come in for? Are they going to trust their uh, in Indian fast bowlers and not play a Ferguson? And have Seifert at the top to have, to have a go? Or will they say, no, hang on, we, we do need that Lockie Ferguson over there because you've got Prasid Krishna and you've got a uh, largely inexperienced squad over there. So, you want Ferguson there. So, the moment you play Ferguson, then you're competing for the Sunil Narayan slot. I mean, how good was Sunil Narayan in, in, the, in the CPL? He is back to bowling 4 overs, 14, 16, holding the runs miserly. Door is always shut. Sorry, you're not getting any money out of this bank. You know, I'm mean, sorry, it's, it's shut. Sorry, like all finance managers have the big no written outside their door. <laughs> you know, saying, you, you, want, you want to come in for something? The answer is no. But if you want to come in, you'll come in. We'll give you a cup of tea, but the answer is no. <laughs> Similarly, Sunil Narayan's bowling like that, so you can't look beyond him. So I don't see where they can fit in a cipher. They just have to tell a, a Rahul Tripathi and a, a, especially a Shubman Gill saying, just unlock yourself, as he said, unlock and go. 